Berhanu's house has been in his family for seven generations. It's a cherished possession, especially as it's one of few houses from the Ethiopian Empire era that are still standing. European these days, most constructions that you see are more along the lines of European architecture. The city shouldn't neglect its history. Addis Ababa was founded in the late 19th century by Emperor Menelik II. Houses like Berhanu's were home to important figures from the ruling classes of the time. At the moment, the capital skyline is changing, often to the detriment of older dwellings. Tadesh will soon have to leave her house to make way for a modern development. We're waiting for the government to do an evaluation of the house and give us some compensation. I would have preferred to stay here. It's my father's house. A handful of historic buildings have been restored with the help of the government, but many view these restorations as needlessly costly, preferring to tear down and start over. So, I mean, there are isolated efforts of 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 uh, protecting, saving historic buildings, but uh, it's really very limited. You know, it's very limited. It's not. Uh, it's not. It, it is not even like a given that you should protect the historic building. The Ethiopian government has listed 440 buildings as heritage sites. The majority of them are in a state of advanced disrepair due to a lack of upkeep. <laughs>